Hello! I would just like to do a quick flip through of a journal that I made for a friend to give to another friend um, in her Bible study as a gift. Um, it is a white um, 9 by 12 envelope covered in decoupage with a napkin and um, I've got a little um, uh, lace on the binding and I used um, a pretty photo with a Bible verse on the front. It's um, closed with a ribbon and um, I'll just uh, I'll just do a quick flip through. It's um, not um, I can't figure out how to turn this. It's not um, uh, distressed or um, and I don't have well I do have some dyed pages in it but they're pink and blue dyed with um, Kool-Aid and not with um, tea or coffee so it's it's pretty bright and modernish and I use things that I had in the house which is my goal for this year is to just use up what I have and um, I like it pretty well so um, and as always I like to have lots of writing space I understand the person that is getting this is a journaler so um, uh, anyway I tried to include a lot of writing space so uh, let's just get into it so there's a little library pocket on the front um, there's a little um, tablet I made there and then I have uh, a few of these just white cards with a little um, black outline around just uh, for a little bit of interest and just to provide more writing space because some of the um, pages in here are pretty colorful and would be hard to write on. Um, this is a little um, tag with a um, hummingbird on it. The other one interest that my friend expressed um, for this woman was that she liked hummingbirds so I kind of made that a theme. So this is just opens up quite a bit and um, there are some stampings just kind of nice um, um, sayings on them a lot of blank pages always a variety of papers Here's another hummingbird held on with a uh, paper clip, and of course it's blank on the back side for writing. And on this side of that page is another hummingbird with, again, blank on the back. There's a pretty picture with a Bible verse underneath it and a, another hummingbird tucked in. Um, another little quote with a tag. These these um, tags, you'll see them throughout. These are from um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. The inside of the first uh, signature, I have little hearts in the, in the center. Another tag with a saying on it. And then this is just um, some paper, a couple of pages of, of paper that I stapled together and then added some uh, washi tape across the top. A little pocket with a um, card with a saying on it. I got these from Pinterest. And then another pretty card that I thought kind of coordinated with it pretty well. Another little um, quote and a couple of hummingbirds. This is just a little collaged tag I made. It's another one of these little um, tags. There's a little tuck spot here, another hummingbird in the corner, um, another um, quote that is part of a little um, fold over, and another hummingbird. And then this is the beginning of the second 
signature. I took a piece of um, paper and then just fussy cut this. I thought it was pretty and added that there, but still a lot of writing space. Here's a bit of a note. Notepad is just clipped on to this blue page. So you can write on both sides of the page and then plus on both sides of this pretty note paper. There's a bit of uh, pink paper just folded over and another tag from um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Again, some more of that pretty blue note paper. This is a freebie that I got from Junk Journal Junkies, and it's somebody's um, jelly plate um, print that they offered for um, people to use, which I thought was very nice. Another little quote with a stamp on an envelope, and on the inside of the envelope is another just blank white card with a little outline on it and another hummingbird. This is opens up all the way. So this also opens up full size. It's um, one of those folded papers that look like a, an envelope and yet still provides some writing space. where I got this, but it's awfully pretty. Um, uh, I I'm, I'm, can't remember, but that's an envelope and on the inside some a folded over, some more of the little tags from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and again some, some writing space. pages with a uh, punched edge. Um, another hummingbird as a pocket with uh, three different tags in it. This is uh, just, um, yeah, a tag with some papers on it. And then on the back another tuck spot and on the inside cover which I opened up is a, a little hard writing surface because if she's like me she'll write in bed. and. It's nice to have a firm place. It, it serves as both a marker and a firm surface for writing on. So that is my journal. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.